Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our absolutely superb Saturday. Let's start our morning with our ritual of power of dreams and then come back to our reading. More power to us. So we've been discussing uh, a lot every single day about some quality of ours, if we are, which kind of scanner we are. Yesterday we spoke about jack of all trades and today it's time to speak about a wanderer. Who is a wanderer? Do we have an element of wanderer in us? It's time to introspect and understand if anything works with us. So without further ado, let's start a morning ritual of reading chapter number 17 today about are you a wanderer? Every week I get inspired to do something, some project, some way to be the new me. Every day it's something which is a struggle. I feel that I'm incomplete. It's very important to understand, are we complete or are we incomplete? Are we finding something or are we already at it? 99% of people are in this process. I'm completely committed to do it for a week or two and then I lose interest and find yet another really cool thing to be obsessed about. I seem to wander from one area to another randomly. What will I ever do with my life? If only I could use all the things I learned in my exploring instead of wasting them, is that ever a possibility? So very important to ask ourselves the questions which are gonna come in now, in case if it, it is to do with being a wanderer. So are you, a, are you a wanderer? Have you always gotten interested in unrelated activities for no apparent reason? Are you intrigued by things that most people around you find boring? Do you like trying on new jobs and lifestyles? Do you love adventure and new experiences, people, places, sensations? Do you like a sense of direction in your life and see only the next move? Do you wish you had a map and destination? The wanderer is a great lover of random experiences and allows herself to move towards whatever looks attractive and gives it a try. Unlike the jack of all trades, doesn't have a plan and doesn't wait, doesn't want to plan. Wanderers are never at an event for a specific purpose. They only know that it's fascinating. The wanderer keeps an open mind and isn't confused by labels. If you are a wanderer, you will never have the same concerns of many people who struggle to understand how they can use interest to create professions for themselves. You've never asked yourself questions like, what do you call someone who likes animals or someone who explains some things well or someone who's a good organizer? Is this a career? Is this a hobby? What do you call a person who just likes to talk to people? Is that a ther therapist? Ask that skills even remotely relevant to any job search. As a wanderer, you never have these thoughts. You appreciate experience for its own sake. 
As a result, you can see opportunities where others see nothing. But wanderers do need to find the underlying theme for their seemingly random interests or eventually they become concerned. Let's read Gary's story to understand a little more about the world of wanderers. I was interested in so many things, it was ridiculous. I looked into anthropology and truck driving and art history and found them all equally fascinating. I really enjoyed working in my dad's lunch truck in factory parking lots. He was delighted, but thought I was crazy and always wanted to know it was like inside the building. Career testing suggested I be a sociologist, but there was something so limiting about that idea. They had suggested getting a PhD in industrial psychology. The title depressed me. One summer, I worked at a resort as a golf caddy during an academic conference of some kind of of some kind and managed to get some fascinating interviews and mathematicians for no reason at all. I had just wanted to ask them to know what made them like math. They said no one had ever asked them that question before. I didn't understand much of the math, but I understood how much they loved it. I was always asking people about what kind of work they did just because I was so curious. But I couldn't explain, never explain what I was doing. I was always probing to see why people like things that I didn't. I didn't actually want to be a biologist or a composer or a carpet employer or a welder. I just wanted to know what it felt like to be one. Once I got a glimpse of that, I was finished. But for all my interest in other people's work, I never found anything interesting enough to make my profession. At 37, I was beginning to get uncomfortable when I was asked what I did for a living. If you are like Gary, your meanderings can be incomprehensible to an outsider or even to you. But there's much method in your madness, in your ambition. And if you know how to look for it, a theme will always reveal itself. Now note this thing. If you are interested in having a look at life, at what you're interested in, if you're finding, if you're actually a seeker, it shall reveal itself to you when you have a true intention. So that is one thing which we must acquire, something called a belief in ourselves. Very, very important. Now, how will we find our true path? How will we ever find our true path? Let's understand. You know what it feels like to be fascinated by this mystery or that one, but have you ever tried to identify what all your interests have in common? If you think they're not related in any way, you need to look more deeply. Wanderers who are looking for a career or trying to justify the lack of one to uneasy families need to begin a conscious search for the underlying theme that pulls them to all their interests. By keeping their eyes open for what they enjoy about anything that interests them and keeping a record on a square and book, they might find out that the heart of all interest is a common theme, which is why it is so important to write on paper, put it on your thinking on paper so that, you know, you can see the pattern, you can read it. Otherwise, mind makes a clutter. So when you have it written out, oh, I like this, I like this, I like, oh, it's connected here, connected here, oh, connected here. And then you can put the puzzle together as one composition. The most common question a wanderer can ask you in any activity that tracks them is, what element, what element, if it were missing, would have made my exploration uninteresting? Did you see? He did not ask kya element hai jisse mera, meri khoj interesting ban jai. Nahi. Meri khoj aur atro jai uninteresting ho jai. Kya element hai wo? Try it yourself. Flip back to the pages of your scanner day book and ask yourself that question of everything you found exciting enough to write about. Ab agar aapne scanner day book banai hai, to you can easily see kya kya likha tha, kya cheez tha jo exciting tha, kya aap uske liye panne panne likhi tha. What was the central part? What could have caused you to feel <clears throat> no excitement? It's not easy to find the answer, but I promise you it's in there. Once you find it, you can continue to use yourself, enjoy yourself as a wanderer. But you'll also realize often with startling clarity exactly what you want to do with your life. Here's what some scanners said. And they found, Maureen, my favorite things 
had have a theme of paradox and unknowability or the individual in a new and strange environment of some kind dealing with challenges also i definitely need the sense of adventure and open endedness in my interest the thing that prevents me from striking with something i think is that once something becomes routine or a known quantity i have seen its limitations for instance i loved anthropology as a way to explain the world but i decided i found its limit and moved on do you see a theme i think maureen is interested in learning how to explain the world she could become a popularizer she could become a teacher teaching what she found with anthropology then moving on to another course of study explorations could take her through literature astronomy religion geology a path that would make no sense to outsiders would make perfect sense to mari <clears throat> janet janet says oh yes that's what really got me interested in eastern european literature it was absurdists all just a juxtaposition of positions and paradox it's just getting me quivering with excitement like kid before christmas could janet write a book or a play or even teach absurdist literature in a college or could she perform an evening on the stage in front of an audience sitting and talking about the deliciousness of the old juxtapositions and paradoxes she found in her travels so again whatever we are liking we have to see jo mujhe pasand hai how can i convert this into a career and believe me my dear sangamitra there are thousands of options at all possible variable ages to start something that we really want अगर हम बिजनेसेस कर रहे हैं कुछ कर रहे हैं हम अपना शौकिया चीज भी चालू कर सकते हैं इट इज नॉट टफ लाइक मुझे किताबें पढ़ने का बहुत शौक था एंड मैंने कई किताबों जैसे जो हम पढ़ रहे हैं बहुत इनमें मुझे बहुत फायदा मिला एंड आप लोग के साथ साथ आई एम रीडिंग दम अगेन एंड आई थिंक आई एम रीडिंग दम फर्स्ट टाइम बिकॉज हाफ द थिंग्स आई डोंट रिमेंबर नाउ इट्स ब्यूटिफुल टू पिक अप समथिंग दैट यू लाइक इट इजन हैव टू पे यू बट इट हैज टू पे योर सोल it has to make you feel that oh this is my purpose this is my calling whatever that is please high time to get out of your comfort zone and get into something that you are really meant for abhi tak hame pata hi nahi what we are meant for now meg says i love uncharted places once i've char- charted them i'm not interested anymore does that mean meg is some kind of map maker or the explorer who takes careful notes sends her findings back to the mark map market what kind of unknown areas draw her and to what use could she put her careful notes and findings elena a 35 year old client was angry with herself for never sticking with any of the personal interest i wish i had stuck with spanish she says but dropped out after a year because i was bored that happened with so many things a few years ago i had this fascination with algebra no other part of math not geometry nor numbers just algebra and developed the same fascination with braille and a sign language for the deaf but i didn't stick with that either instead i got interested in sign language of native americans i thought i'd study anthropology but suddenly i simply had to learn how to read music music i'm not a musician i didn't know what's the matter with me if i had stuck with spanish i could have been somewhere by now <coughs> where would you be i asked well i'd be a teacher bilingual studies or i'd study <coughs> teach spanish Is that what you'd like to do? She sighed. No, it isn't. It sounds boring. Good thing you dropped out early. She wasn't amused. But what am I supposed to do? Work as an insurance company forever? My life is not going anywhere. Maybe all those things you're interested in have something in common. Take a look at them. What's interesting? You must know about each one of them. I'm not sure. <clears throat> It's hard to put my finger on it. they seem so exciting until i understood them how they work whatever that means and then i wanted to move on could you possibly be interested in a code i asked for a hunch and she sat forward her eyes wide with interest she we had stumbled on something important after a little back and forth it became clear that she was interested in linguistics she remembered that ever since childhood she'd been fascinated with one or another aspect of linguistic but had never realized it i read the man who listened to horses in high school especially the part where he learns how horses communicate with each other i read that over and over again and i was so excited i couldn't sleep 
at my urging, she signed up for a linguistic class at Bernard College in New York the next day. Gary, who you met at the beginning of this chapter, had looked into more interesting careers than anyone he'd ever met. But though they were all interesting, none of them led to a career. Eventually, he forced himself to become a social worker because he liked helping people. But the work was never as satisfying as he had hoped. So a lot of you want to work for social causes. Karke dekhiye. Ek hafta, do hafta, teen hafta, ek mahina, do mahina, teen mahina. Karke dekhiye. Does it still grip your attention? Yeah, wo temporary phase hai and you've gotten what you got on out of it. Kai baar hume ko chizo ke baar mein lagta hai. Mam try nahi karte. Point sabse important kya hai? Seeing our pattern. Doing what we like. And seeing if we are liking what we are doing in a continuous fashion. Now, one day he sat in a meeting with the employment counselors who was having with a group of clients, and to his surprise, found he was able to help almost all of them identify the best careers. This is about Gary. But was amazing. Now, why? Because Gary knew about more kinds of work than anyone in the department. He had done nothing but research careers most of his adult life. I never realized that I was interested in careers. Not a career, right in front of me, but I never saw it. Gary became a life coach and has never been happier. Ruchi, can you take over from here? Finding a common theme to your changing interests? Good yes. morning. Good morning. If I'm you are a wanderer. <laughs> if you are a wanderer, there is a very good chance that you always have an underlying theme in all the things you do. If you can find what they have in common, you might be able to locate a career or avocation that all your interest had been pointing to, like Gary and Eleanor did. Themes are not always obvious. If you searched before by making a list of all the things you have been interested in, and you still had trouble figuring out what on earth your interests have in common, Try making an everything I don't want list. Number one, first make the longest list you can of careers or avocations that do not interest you. Start with everything you rejected on your own and then add all the misguided suggestions that family members, friends and acquaintances have made. Look through a newspaper or weekly news magazines to find more careers. If you feel ambitious, look on job sites on the internet. Just be sure to keep occupations that look interesting off the list. Number two, now go down the list and next to each entry, write a comment on why you don't want that occupation by noting what's missing. Rather than listing all the negative elements like too regimented or don't like the subject, try to form statements around what you like that isn't there. For example, you might list lacks freedom or has no interesting content and any other good elements that aren't there. When you are finished, number three, when you are finished, read all your comments and see what patterns emerge. Let's see, patterns are 100% going to emerge. Why? Because that's how it is meant to be. Now, what we have been guided is very, very clear. We're not supposed to write any negative comments, ki, you know, regimental, tha, aisa nahi tha, aisa nahi tha. Hame statements positive hunni hai. Kya hain, like in a very nice way, you want freedom, I lack freedom, or it's not so interesting. It is not something which is with an emotion, it is something with a concept. So if it's regimented, I don't like the emotions. So try to keep the emotion away and the feeling in the picture. Now they're a little different. Freedom is an expression. Freedom is the very, it's again a feeling. But it's a positive kind of way, right? So we've got to find that about ourselves. And once we read our comments, we will be able to see, oh, this is what I'm uh, wanting. Apne answers could unfold karengi once we have this questionnaire, once we write the answers and once we reflect on them. Now let's look at Eleanor again. Eleanor, who loved linguistics, would have found most of her rejected items lacking in unique world views or fresh ways of explaining what they do. Gary, who was interested in every career under the sun, might have crossed off only jobs he had already tried and written. Nothing new to learn here. Their searches are particularly subtle and you should find your themes much easier to find. Kara, 
I always thought there was nothing I wasn't curious about. But once I started making my not interested list, my viewpoint changed completely. That list of subjects I didn't care about got longer and longer. I wasn't interested in society or cars or engineering. It was amazing and oddly liberating. And when I was pretty much finished, all that was left were areas of creativity. Try it for yourself and see what all your wanderings show you about what you need to keep your energy high. You will find all those rewards we talk about in earlier chapters, the magnetic forces that pull you and keep your mind awake and healthy. Jane, I love being on the brink of discovery, not having any idea what's coming. Once I know the answer, the exciting part is over for me. Fernando, what was missing in the list was something complex enough to require lots of learning. Maybe the chance to come up with a new connection or something no one else has ever thought of before. Very useful discoveries, but how can they help a wanderer decide what to do with his life? This is amazing. As you keep reflecting and you're wondering what you should be doing with your life, and what to what career to pick up, how to pick up. Now we've seen these three questions that we will do. That's one thing for reflection. Now, what will a van want to do for a career? Let's understand that. Let's look at each of these answers one by one and see if they suggest any careers. Kara, who, who saw that everything that interests her has to involve creativity, needed to find out exactly what creative activity meant to her. In her case, it meant solving business problems and she noticed that her wanderings were always from one business to another. Others might see they were drawn to work that allowed them to create new physical environments or come up with new systems. Jane realized she was born to be an advanced scout of some kind. She learned that marketing research companies often send scouts to locations all over the world to see if local communities would re be receptive <clears throat> to a certain kind of business. Also, she learned that journalists accompany explorers of all kinds, such as anthropologists venturing into little known cultures or medical researchers looking for new cures so journalists can be advanced scouts as well. I love the realization that I haven't been walking in circles, that I have really been on a path that led somewhere, that there was a theme in everything that interested me, she said. Fernando, whose wandering had usually been through different fields of teaching, realized he loved to make discoveries. He finally understood why no area of teaching had ever held him for long. As soon as he made his discoveries in math, theater, or history, he would move to another speciality. This gave him the key he had been looking for. Instead of continuing to wander through different fields, he changed the way he taught every subject. It's all about discoveries, he said. I break every class into teams and each one is given a complex issue in that subject to work out. And they have to come up with something they didn't know, an aha moment. Once they have done that, they can stop studying and then present their discovery in such a way that the rest of us will feel very enlightened. I have fun coming up with the questions of each team. They're learning important skills and it never stops being interesting to me. If you have already have a career that provides you with security and you hesitate to leave it, or if you long for such a career but have rejected it as a dead end, consider taking another look. Without knowing it, you might have been looking at a different kind of umbrella career. When I call the ticket to write career, and it could be just what a wanderer needs. I mean, Careers like accountant, lawyer, computer information technologist, or nurse. Most people don't realize it, but even conventional careers can take you where you want to go. For instance, a lawyer can represent astronauts, home business owners, authors, actors, deep sea divers, and inventors. Lawyers interested in business often become business brokers because they have client investors want to meet. And the picture of the poor accountant poring over his budget and payroll books until late into the night isn't always accurate. In one of my workshops, a man stood and told the following story. I trained as an accountant because although I had dozen of things I was interested in, I didn't know what to do for a career. But every 
aspect of the work was so dreary that I knew very early I had made a serious mistake. I was on the verge of chucking the whole thing and starting over in a new field when I got offered an assignment to a government construction project in India to get their books in order for an audit so they could bring in investors. I figured I would be bored with the accounting as usual. I have done construction jobs like this in the States and they're usually pretty routine. But I figured at least I would be in a new country and could do some interesting things on my own time. So I gave it a chance. What I didn't expect was how an ordinary construction audit job, if you do it in a completely different culture, can be so incredibly interesting. For example, I had to assess a cost for a very expensive pet Australian emu, a bird that sat, sat in a cage on the grounds and the salary of the foreman's teenage son who did nothing but care for it. At first, I thought this was some kind of under the table favoritism. But then I realized that this bird contributed enormously to the efficient functioning of the company. According to folklore, emus have some mysterious mechanism that senses the coming of rain from hundreds of miles away long before anyone else knows it's coming. The workers were all trainees from different parts of India and they weren't comfortable with each other or the foreman either. But they all knew the importance of monsoons and this emu turned into a community. They would talk to the foreman's son about the bird, practicing the local language at the same time so they could start talking to each other. And before long, they were friendly with the foreman and cooperative with each other. It was a stroke of genius on the foreman's part. That was just plain fun to research. I had to talk to a number of people at the British Embassy, a zoo expert, an anthropologist, and an Australian priest. Of course, it was a still bit of challenge finding a column to put that expense into. I finished that job before I was anywhere near bored. And for me, that was very unusual. Then I got sent to Siberia and then Uzbekistan. Now I've been reactivated some things I used to love, like photography. I find myself suddenly interested in shooting family scenes in different countries. I also make a lot more friends than I used to. Somehow it's become easier. So when you add travel to my profession, real travel to unusual places, it becomes a completely different experience. So <clears throat> did you see the pattern? So many things are being reactivated. So many of the things that are what he liked to do, they're all coming back as a memory. And then that it, life becomes so much easier because you're seeing the pattern about you. And that experience in itself is very re rewarding, very enriching. Now, what happens when a wanderer doesn't find any theme but curiosity? After all, the truest wanderers just follow that interest, their interest randomly. And the only thing that drives them is a love of adventure or a fascination for the unknown. What becomes of these people, their families think they're going nowhere and they end up with nothing. But is that really true? To a layman, it might be. And unfortunately, ironically, that's how the world is. But then... Let's understand one dilemma. We will read this particular section today and then move on tomorrow. The I might need that someday life design model. A lot of us, especially who have not yet arrived, think, Shad mujhe bhi kabhi ye chayoga. Wanderers, the best part about them are their open experiences. When something they try turns out to be important later, they feel their wanderings have been justified. They like to say, you never know what will come of this new adventure. Someday, I might need what I think, what I find. Tatiana started with a scene in a movie and made a friend who years later introduced her to her husband. Let's read about Tatiana. Just to show how you, just to show you how silly the beginnings of really big things can be. A whole long train of events in my life actually started with a single scene in a movie called The Stunt Man, in which Peter O'Toole plays a mad film director. They took me into a fascination with Peter O'Toole to films and movie making to writing a screenplay with side trips off to a few things like the Gullwing Mercedes, which my main character used to own, to poetry and old interest, to reading plays and acting myself, which led me to Tom Stoppard's work. From there, I managed to meet Stopard and learn about his Victor, his friend Victor Havel, who was in the jail. Now, because my interest in film and political work was 
had led me to make a proposal for a film festival of banned films, I stopped off in London on the same trip and did some research at the British Film Institute. And there I made a friend who many years later in another country introduced me to my husband just before he went on stage in a theater production of one of Havel's plays. Now some successful and well-known people started out as wanderers. They're finding, they're finding their calling. Like Steve Jobs, CEO of Apple Computers, in a graduation speech, he explained how his travels gave him insights and experiences that turned out to be very useful later in his life. So if you're wandering around, good to wander. Just don't judge yourself, just flow with it. There's another excerpt that we will read to understand this a little more. This is from uh, Rhonda Byrne. Uh, this is from um, Barbara Shea. I had no what, idea what I was going to do with my life and I had no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would be all okay ultimately. The minute I dropped out, I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me and begin dropping in on the notes that looked interesting. And much of what I stumbled in by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be a priceless later on. Let me give you an example. Reed College, all that time, offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. Throughout the campus, every poster, every label, and every drawer was beautifully in hand calligraphed. Because I dropped out and didn't have to take normal classes, I decided to take calligraphy class to learn how to do this. I learned about serif, sans serif types, varying in the amount of space between different letter combinations, about what makes great typography, etc. It was wonderful, beautiful, historical, artistically subtle, in a way that science can't capture, but I found very fascinating. None of this ever had a hope of any practical application in my life. But 10 years later, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, it all came back to me. And we designed it all into the Mac. It was the first computer with beautiful typography. If I'd never dropped in that single course in college, the Mac would never have had multiple typefaces or proportionately spaced fonts. And since Windows just copied the Mac, it's likely that no personal computer would ever have had them. Of course, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college, but it was very, very clear looking back 10 years later. Kab padhai kya ya kab experience kya kahan kaam aja, we have no idea. That's the beauty about life. Until you find your home like these wandering type scanners above have done, you should continue to wander and trust your instincts. If something interests you, follow it. Always assume. Sir, can we please turn the page? Always assume there's a good reason for any attraction you feel. And that sooner or later, the answer will show itself. Wandering is the way your mind works best. You're good at getting to a crossroad and following instincts to find the right direction. You're a little like the Greek hero Odysseus. Now, what is this study about Odysseus? It's a brand new thing. And this is something tomorrow that we'll read to understand this new kind of life design model on based on addresses. So you, it's very interesting how new things open up every single day and how we can find something about us in every story. What I do in life is I just go through the chapters to understand and then see, oh, what resonates with me? What have I learned? And something new stumbles open. So I never let boredom sink in or some continuity monotony sink in because I think exploring is a good idea. In a way, I, I could probably be a wanderer. All right, everyone, that's time for some salutations. Let's go for it. The Surya Namaskar with mantras. Om Mitraye Namaha. Om Ravaye Namaha. Om Suryaya Namaha Om Bhanave Namaha Om Khagaye Namaha Om Kushne Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Marichaye Namaha Om Adityaye Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkay Namaha Om Bhaskarai Namaha Salutations to the universal friend Salutations to the resplendent sun 
Salutations to the energy that induces activity within us. Salutations to the one who illumines. Salutations to the sun moving across the sky. Salutations to the giver of strength. Salutations to the golden cosmic self. Salutations to the lord of the dawn. Salutations to the son of Aditi, the cosmic mother. Salutations to the benevolent mother. Salutations to the energy that we praise and to the one who guides us to salvation. The sun salutation now with the names of the postures both in Sanskrit and English. Pranamasan. Hastuthanasan. Mother Hastasan. Left leg back, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Parvatasan. And hold this position. And now slowly progressing into the deeper version of Parvatasan, Adho Mukshvanasan. Ashtang Namaskar. Bhujangasan. Parvatasan. Left forward, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Pada Hastasan. Hastuthanasan. Pranamasan. On the right side, prayer position. Raised arms pose. Hand to feet pose. Right leg back, equestrian pose. Mountain pose. Hold mountain pose and slowly moving into the deeper version of mountain, the downward facing dog. Salute with eight limbs. Cobra. Press back to mountain. Right forward equestrian pose. Hand to feet pose. Raised arms position. Prayer pose. One round of the sun salutation with awareness on the breathing. So exhaling our hands to the chest, pranam. Inhaling as we bend back. We exhale as we fold forward. Left leg back, inhale as we're arching back. Exhale into the forward. Hold the breath for knees, chest, chin. Inhale as we arch back. Exhale into the forward. Left leg forward, inhale. This is a back bend. Exhale whenever we bend forward. Inhale as we bend back. Exhale, hands to the chest. And on the right, deep breathing. Exhale. A deep inhale. A long exhale. Right leg back with an inhale and exhale. Hold the breath. Inhale and exhale. Right leg forward with a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So we've been <clears throat> studying about anger. We've seen that why we are angry is because whatever we want, it doesn't happen to us. In some mind, it happens to us that it should happen. When it doesn't come, we have anger. We have anger when we sacrifice. We feel that we have done so much, but nobody is able to see my sacrifice. So today, we are going to study about validation. It's about acknowledgement. That we are going to study validation. It's about acknowledgement. कि हमें सोसाइटी से एक्नोलेजमेंट क्यों चाहिए हमें लोगों से एक्नोलेजमेंट क्यों चाहिए हाउ आर वी बिल्ट बिल्ट द वे वी आर सो लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड फॉर रीडिंग दिस वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट सीक्रेट्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज एक्नोलेजमेंट द बिहेवियर ऑफ अदर्स टूवर्ड्स अस ऑलवेज इंक्लूड्स अस हिडन गिफ्ट इवन इफ दैट बिहेवियर अपीयर्स नेगेटिव देयर इज समथिंग इन इट फॉर अस very often that something appears in the form of a signal to us to become more aware let's say for example that somebody calls us stupid 
our natural response is one of the anger. Now we can use this energy of that anger consciously. What is that person asking me to become aware of? If we ask ourselves a question, we may come to the realization that we were being self-centered. We were being uncaring, we were failing to acknowledge them and we were not being conscious and aware of what was going on in the relationship. So rather than uh, taking the word stupid as a, you know, as a gali or like dumb or you know, whatever, like adjective like those, stupid means somebody who's not aware, right? If I go in the meaning and I ask myself, kya hai jo mujhe samaj mein nahi jo mein pari, and we will find a deeper meaning. Uh, if we constantly follow this procedure, we will come to the awareness that everyone in our life is acting as a mirror. They're really reflecting back to us what we have failed to acknowledge within ourselves. They're forcing us to look at the small stuff of what we need to be relinquished, which means we have to constantly let go of our pride in order to undo anger so that we can be grateful for the continual opportunities of growth with which we are presented in the course of everyday experience. It's simple. If you're angry, pride to pride on one side. First of all, my ego. That has to be sidelined because that's my small self. If something is coming, it means I need it. It's that it's coming. जब मैं इतना बात में एहसास हो जाएगा मुझे कि ये कुछ भी बोलने वाला है इसलिए बोलने वाला है बिकॉज़ मैं चाहती हूं कि ये बोले तो पहले ही रियलाइजेशन आ जाएगी और अगर हम ग्रेटफुल हो सकते हैं हर समय कि अरे ये भी बोला ये भी हुआ ये मेरे ग्रोथ के लिए आ रहा है ये इसलिए आ रहा है तो हम देखेंगे लाइफ में नथिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ मैजिक विल हैपन नाउ टू डू दिस ऑल वी हैव डू इज रेजिस्ट द टेंपटेशन टू इंडल्ज इन मेकिंग आवरसेल्व्स एंड अदर्स रॉन्ग सिंपल सरल है ब्लेम गेम करना अगर हम बंद कर दें सिर्फ ब्लेम गेम करना बंद कर दें और मुझे प्लीज आप बताएं चैट बॉक्स में ब्लेम गेम बंद करना आसान है क्या अपने आप को ब्लेम करना कम करना और दूसरे को ब्लेम करना कम आसान है क्या मुझे तो शुरू में लगता था कि मुश्किल है बट नाउ दैट आई बिन प्लेइंग दिस गेम फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई थिंक इट्स प्रिटी ईजी अच्छा ऋतु के लिए मुश्किल है ओके रुचि के लिए भी मुश्किल है Okay, uh, you are trying. Okay, good. Now the thing is, blame ka agar hum ko lagta hai ki mushkil hai, to hume puchna chahiye apne aap se mushkil kyun lag raha hai? Mujhe kya blame karne mein maza aata hai? Automatically the first answer will be nahi. Maza to nahi aata. Agar maza nahi aata, to mein kyun kar rahi hu? Why am I doing it? Kya mil raha hai mujhe karne se? Khushi mil rahi hai? Hundred percent answer aayega ki no, khushi bhi nahi mil rahi. अच्छा खुशी भी नहीं मिल रही मजा भी नहीं आ रहा अच्छा भी नहीं तो मैं क्यों ब्लेम कर रही हूं कैन आई लुक एट अ डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव कैन आई स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग कि जो हो रहा है मेरे अच्छे के लिए हो रहा है मैं इतना सब शिफ्ट करूंगी ना तो मुझे एक्सेप्टेंस आ जाएगी तो मैं लार्जर पिक्चर वाइड एंगल कैमरा देख पाऊंगी सो so, अगर हम नहीं देखते तो हम कहाँ देख रहे हैं हमको समझ में आता है कि मैं अपने स्मॉल सेल्फ पे देख रही हूँ स्मॉल सेल्फ क्या है मेरा ईगो एंड ये एक रीजन है जिसकी वजह से मैं बड़ी पिक्चर नहीं देख पा रही बिकॉज मैं दिखाना चाह रही हूँ आई नो एवरीथिंग अरे आई एम राइट दिस इज बिकॉज स्मॉल सेल्फ इज इग्नोरेंट और बेटर वेज टू अकम्पलिश आर गोल उसको पता ही नहीं ना क्या तरीका क्या है इट डज नॉट सी दल्टरनेटिव विच इज चूजिंग टू चेंज सिचुएशन आर अ फ्री चॉइस हर समय मेरे पास चॉइस है अगर मैं ये अपने आप को रिमाइंड करती रहूं कि मेरे पास चॉइस है कि मैं अपने अंदर ढांकू कि मैं अपने को ब्लेम करूं पहले फोर्स करना पड़ता है फिर ऑटोमेटिकली आता है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस वन वे वी फोर्स आवर सेल्व्स आउट ऑफ अनसेटिस्फैक्टरी सिचुएशंस इज बाय मेकिंग आवर सेल्व्स और सिचुएशन रॉन्ग इंसटेड ऑफ मेयरली चूजिंग टू फाइंड अ बेटर जॉब फॉर इंस्टेंस आवर स्मॉलर सेल्फ मेक्स द जॉब the boss the fellow workers wrong maza aata hai apne aap ko defend karne mein aur bolne mein ki are main to bilkul sahi hu na wo wrong hai usne wrong kiya hai to feeling achhi hoti hai ki are ha main to halki ho gayi but actually main wo wrong kyun hai that's my perception hum agar is baat ko bhi samajh le ki everyone is operating at whatever whatever time with their intelligence सो कहीं ना कहीं उसको थोड़ा सा हल्का कर सकते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द पिक्चर ऑफ रॉन्गनेस द सिचुएशन नाउ बिकम्स इनटॉलरेबल इन वी फोर्स टू चेंज इट 
how much easier it would have been had we simply chosen to move on to a better situation. However, because of a sense of obligation, guilt is very often the block to simpler ways. In other words, because of what has benefited us in a situation, we feel guilty about leaving it. So the unconscious ingeniously had created the whole mechanism of wrongness to force us out of dead end situations. This happens often in interpersonal relationships where we feel that we have to make the other person wrong in order to justify leaving them. Resorting to dualism of wrongness is simply a denial of our own freedom to choose. Agar hum ko relationship band kar rahe, khatam kar rahe, ye bhi humne choose kiya hai at the conscious level. Agar hum uska nazariya bhi dekh paaye, and then if we move on, it will be far better for our equanimity, for our feelingness, of, of, for our peace of mind. Just keeping your smaller self outside. One source of anger stems from the acknowledged fact of the love that we express to others. Many love bola, usko bola, I love you. Many uske liye ki usne kya kya mere liye. To gussa. Now love in this context means the everyday simple forms of lovingness and go on in every human relationship in the form of thoughtfulness, concentration, polite gestures, encouragement, and providing. Now, very often, an internal dialogue can go on for years about our resenting over the person's lack of appreciation for our feelings about them. Many to itne saalo se kare ke liye compromise kiya, sacrifice kiya, ye kiya, ye kiya, ye kiya. Usne kya kiya? Aur wo kya sochta hai? Ye to kam tha na apka. So what's a big deal? Your father ko bolta hai ki, to, aapka fars tha na ki aap business karo ya kaam karo, paise lao, what's a big deal? Hamaan aayega, hum bhi karengi. Now, agar aap uske nazari se dekho, to isn't that right? Aapne apne aapko bol rukha, meinne itna kiya, but isn't that right ki wo to kaam hai aapka? If we start looking at a perspective of others, then we will become better, we will become more healed. That's why Kahavat hai, walk in the shoes of other people and see how it is. Shift karke dekho nazariya, paradigm shift karke dekho. There are people therefore in our life who are walking around with an endless mental stream of thoughts about us, having to do with our lack of appreciation of the feelings for us. Khud ko hi humne appreciate nahi kiya. और ये हमने दूसरों में राबिन किया है तो वो हमें अप्रिशिएट कैसे करेंगे कैसे राबिन किया है अगर मुझे एक पर्टिकुलर खाने का आइटम पसंद है और मैंने हमेशा आपके पसंद खाना का आइटम बनाया अपने लिए नहीं बनाया तो मैंने अपनी जब कंसीडरेशन नहीं करी वो इंसान में कदर क्यों करेगा या जब मुझे शॉपिंग करनी थी मैंने पैसे कमाए मुझे लगता नहीं आई गिल्टी मैं अपने ऊपर पैसा नहीं खर्च करूंगा बच्चों पे बीवी पे खर्च कर देता हूं so, जब मैंने अपने ऊपर कंसीडरेशन नहीं करा व्हाई वुड दे अप्रिशिएट मी और व्हाई विल मुझे लग रहा है मैंने बड़ा सैक्रिफाइस कर दिया बट सैक्रिफाइस इज अ नेगेटिव फीलिंग जो हमारी लव में नहीं आती उल्टा अगर मैं बोलूं कि नहीं द मोर आई स्पेंड द मोर आई मुझे जो पसंद है वो भी खरीद रहा हूं उनको जो पसंद है वो भी खरीद रहा हूं अपने आप से पैसे आ रहे हैं सो दैट्स हाउ इट्स गोना अट्रैक्ट एक अपना कॉन्शियसली नजरिया बदलने की जरूरत है दैट आई एम ऑपरेटिंग फ्रॉम लव जब मुझे सब कुछ जो पसंद है मैं जो मैं कर रहा हूं तो बढ़िया ही होने वाला है and the whole arena of anger can be offset and prevented when we see the enormous value of simply acknowledging the gestures of others towards us. This means to acknowledge all of the communications to us. For instance, if a friend calls us on the phone, what do we do? We thank them for calling us. The reason for doing this is that it makes the other person feel complete and secure with us. The acknowledgement of the value of our life and everyone else feels pleased when we acknowledge their value. By this simple mechanism of acknowledgement, it is possible within a matter of days to transform all of our relationship in a rather dramatic way. The acknowledgement does not have to go on to the other world, but can take place within ourselves, within oneself. As we examine a relationship, we can ask ourselves, what have I failed to acknowledge in those with whom I have daily contact? Ye bhoat important. Lagne mein bhoat simple si line hai. But agar aapne isko master kar liya, life ko aap master kar loge, because you are most importantly with the people that matter to you in your daily life. Agar aapke bachche roz aapke saath nahi hai, aur kam connection mein hai, but jo hai, they are the ones who matter, jisle important hai, puchna, 
ये ऐसा क्या है जो मैंने अनदिखा कर दिया जो मेरी रिलेशनशिप में आगे बेटर कर सकता है क्या चीज है जो मैंने एक्स्ट्रा कर दी या कम कर दी इट इज वेरी वैल्यूएबल एक्सपीरियंस टू पिक सम वन इन आर लाइफ हु इन आर व्यू इज क्रिटिकल टूवर्ड्स अस एंड नाउ विद इन आवर सेल्स बिगिन टू लुक एट हाउ वी हैव फेल्ड टू एक्नोलेज दैम सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट टीचर हम सबका रहता है इट्स वो इंसान जो हमें क्रिटिसाइज करता है बहुत इंडियन वुमेन के लिए उनकी मादन लॉज होती है कि अरे वो ऐसे क्यों करती है वो भी तो वुमेन है वो तो मेरे शूज में है देखो क्या चीज है क्यों क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हो लुक इट हो नजरिया बहुत बार आप सुना होगा लोगों को बोलते हुए कि जब मैं अब मादर बनी हूँ मैं समझती हूँ कि मेरी मादर ने ऐसे मेरे साथ क्यों किया या अब हम बड़े हो गए तो अब हम समझते हैं हम भी सेम कर रहे उस समय नजरिया देखा ही नहीं वी सरेंडर ऑल ऑफ अर नेगेटिव फीलिंग अबाउट दैम अगर नेगेटिव फीलिंग्स हैं तो सबको एक बार दे सरेंडर कर दो चलो अब मैं देखना चाहती हूँ अपने ग्लासेस निकालना चाहती हूँ अन्ना क्लियरली देखना चाहती हूँ कि वट इज इट दू शो मी क्या चीज है जो मैंने अनदिखा कर दिया जब हम अपने सरेंडर करते हैं नेगेटिव फीलिंग्स के एकदम से वी बिगिन टू गिव दम क्रेडिट फॉर्मिंग द वैल्यू टू आस जिन लोगों को क्रिटिसाइज करते हो उनके बिना आप रह भी नहीं सकते हो नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ टाइम चाहे बॉस हो चाहे मदर लॉ हो चाहे कुछ भी देखो तो सही उनके बिना लाइफ कैसे हो जस्ट सी इमेजिन एक दो दिन की बात नहीं परमानेंट में इमेजिन करके देखो फिर मालूम पड़ेगा कि चाहे आप उनकी वैल्यू ये भी हो कि आपके हस्बैंड या आपकी वाइफ बहुत अटैच हो उनसे एंड दे कैन लिव तो वो भी आपके लिए वैल्यूएबल हो गई नाउ दे वैल्यू मे सिंपली बी देर स्पर ऑफ आर इमोशनल ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट एक सेकेंड में आया आपको डिवेलप कर दिया उतार दिया गिरा दिया द नैगिंग स्पाउस और स्काउलिंग नेबर इज ट्राइंग टू से समथिंग अगर एक हस्बैंड या वाइफ बाहर से रोज नैग कर रही कुछ तो है उसके पीछे ना समझो उस बात को कि रोज क्यों नैग कर रहा है क्या प्रॉब्लम है क्या मैं ये बदल सकता हूँ अपनी लाइफ में इतना मुश्किल है क्या ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज इन दिस लाइफ सर ऑफ सिचुएशन सच पर्सन आर नॉट फीलिंग इथनोलॉज फॉर देर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दे आर मेकिंग टू आवर लाइफ जब लोग नैग करते हैं उनको वैलिडेशन नहीं आती उनको एक्नोलेजमेंट नहीं कर पाते हम उनको कॉम्प्लीमेंट नहीं कर पाते उनको थैंक नहीं कर पाते जब हम ये कर देंगे तो उनके ऑटोमेटिकली नैगिंग बंद हो जाएगी करके देखना ट्राई करना आई हैव ट्राइड इट एंड तब मैं बोल रही हूँ इट्स रियली अमेजिंग नेक्स्ट जो हमारा पढ़ाव आ रहा है आई टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन अबाउट एक्सपेक्टेशन ये बहुत हैवी वर्ड हैवी ड्यूटी वेन वी स्टॉप प्रेशराइजिंग अदर्स रीड दिस केयरफुली when we stop pressurizing others with our expectations we create an opening for them spontaneously spontaneously to respond positively to us jab hum apni ummeedon ka pressure dusre ke upar se hata denge wo khul ke baat kar payega aap bologe mera business hai theko to join karna hi karna hai aapne isko pinjre mein band kar diya are tujhe job karna hai karna how does it matter ye to hota rahega it doesn't matter एकदम से उसके मुझे ये करना ये करना ये करना ये करना है और आपसे पॉजिटिवली बातें हो पाएंगी वी कैन इन अ प्रोफ्लाइलेटिक मूव ऑफ सेट रिजेंटमेंट्स बाय शिफ्टिंग व्हाट वी हैव डन फॉर अदर्स फ्रॉम द लेवल ऑफ सैक्रिफाइस टू द लेवल ऑफ अ लविंग गिफ्ट वी कैन देन एक्नॉलेज आवर सेल्स फॉर दिस मूव एंड ड्रॉप एक्सपेक्टेशंस व्हिच विल डिसॉल्व द रेजिस्टेंस इन अदर्स जब हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं ना तो रेजिस्टेंस ही रेजिस्टेंस आता है जब हम एक्सपेक्ट नहीं करते तो बहुत कुछ मिलता है जो हमें शायद उम्मीद भी नहीं करी होती एक सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं टू टू दिस शिफ्ट। देयर वाज अ मैन हु बैक टू न्यू शर्ट्स मेक्सिको फ्रॉम मेक्सिको दिस टू न्यू शर्ट्स वर टोटल डिफरेंट डिजाइन देन द काइंड ऑफ क्लोथ वॉज अकस्टम टू वेरिंग द फर्स्ट डेडिसन प्राइड इन डूइंग समथिंग न्यू एंड डिफरेंट However, instead of surrendering pride, pride he decided to keep it. That is, he purposely didn't use the letting go technique to surrender the pride and simply let it be there. He wanted to see what would happen, how people would respond. That day, he proudly wore the new shirt, and sure enough, nobody mentioned. In, spa- in fact, despite the fact that it was totally different from his usual attire, nobody observed him. Also, it must have been really stood out when there was not a single comment. Now, when he went home, <clears throat> he had to laugh at how true his entrepreneur Robbie Ringo's term for that kind of situation as the boy-girl theory. Boy wants girl, therefore girl is disinterested in boy. As soon as the boy is no longer interested in girl, girl now wants boy. Now next morning, decided to wear the shirt, the other shirt. 
But this time, he surrendered all of his vanity, his expectations of being noticed. He let go of the little pride that he was doing something new and different, and he acknowledged the love of all of his friends and important part they played in his happiness in his life. By the time he got through the letting go process, he was totally surrendered on wearing the shirt. He knew he was totally surrendered because it was okay if, he, if they noticed the new shirt and it was okay if they didn't. <clears throat> but it was who, who never paid us back. So please turn the page. That day was suddenly like new shirt day. Almost every person he had commented on the new shirt asked him where he had gotten it. And he spent the day getting lots of attention. And this experiment humorously makes the point. We get what we want when we stop insisting on it. Do you see this word? If you see it in your full moon meditation, that day you जो चाहिए उसको सरेंडर दे दिया मैंने मेरे हिसाब से मुझे ये चाहिए बट मैं आपको दे रही हूं मुझे मिले नहीं मिले मुझे पता नहीं ये या इससे बेटर मिलेगा मुझे इतना यकीन है बस अब मैं इंसिस्ट नहीं कर रहा मैं सरेंडर कर रहा हूं एंड कैसे वो चीज मिल जाती है उसके पहले हमने होल्ड ऑन किया हुआ है मैनिफेस्ट कर रहे हैं रो सोच रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं सोच रहे एकदम से लेट गो कि बस अब मैंने बहुत मैनिफेस्ट कर लिया होना होगा तो होगा नहीं होगा तो नहीं होगा English में कहावत भी है ना just let it lose if it it was meant to be it'll come back to you so very important to let go सबसे ज़्यादा problems आती हैं हमें ego की expectations की appreciation की acknowledgement की लोगों से सबसे बड़ा रोग क्या कहेंगे लोग 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 हर चीज़ लोग लोगों से से भी है लोगों से करते भी हैं लोगों देते भी हैं expectations of others is a form of emotional blackmail we can feel our resistance when others pull for certain emotional goods from us. We can get away from being emotionally blackmailed by looking at how we do it with others. And then we can let go of wanting to manipulate the emotional responses towards us. Another way of preventing anger is by making a decision within oneself. So do you understand this? कि हम अपने अंदर एक डिसीजन ले लें कि अब मुझे वैलिडेशन नहीं चाहिए दूसरों से अनदर वे ऑफ प्रिवेंटिंग एंगर इज बाय मेकिंग अ डिसीजन विद इन वन सेल्फ दैट नो लॉन्गर टू एक्सेप्ट इन वैलिडेशन फ्रॉम अदर्स और द स्मॉल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वन सेल्फ दिस डिसीजन कैन बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ अ फर्म डिक्लेरेशन आई विल नो लॉन्गर एक्सेप्ट इन वैलिडेशन फ्रॉम माय सेल्फ और अदर्स या आई विल always validate validate myself and others when this is coupled with the feeling of acknowledgement all this is positive within ourselves and others with relationship will rapidly change the potential sources of anger have been removed very very important to understand that kabhi karke dekhi kisi ke paas ja rahe ho meeting hai koi wait kar raha hai so thank you for waiting for me and giving me your precious time and then saying i'm so sorry i'm late you start on a positive note compliment people oh your shirt looks so lovely today i'm not saying bina baat ke tareef kare par agar aap apne andar wo element dikhenge ki dusro ko aap tareef kar sakte easily aapki life mein itna khul khul ke aane wala hai jab aap appreciation dete hain to aapko milta hai so dena shuru kare chahe shuru mein effort lagega baad mein automatic ho jayega log kya karte hain pehli baar looks ke upar karte hain Which I think is so passe. Patle ho gaye, moti ho gaye, kaale baal lag rahe, safed baal lag rahe, face glow kar rahe. Say something about which about me which you can not see beyond. I love this quality about you. That's mine. You can feel that. Asas kar sakte hain. And wo nahi to physical dekhlo. That's okay. Now let's talk about chronic resentment. Kya hai resentment? Kyu chronic ho jaati? Resentment humme pata hai ki. हमें गुस्सा है यू नो दूसरों पे आक्रोश है दूसरों पे और हम उसका अपने अंदर गांठ लेके लेकर बैठे हुए हैं वो गांठ के हमने पास ले लिया अपने अंदर क्रॉनिक अनरिकग्नाइज एंगर एंड रिजेंटमेंट री इमर्ज इन आर लाइफ एज डिप्रेशन व्हिच इज एंगर डायरेक्टेड अगेंस्ट वन सेल्फ इफ पुश्ड फर्दर इनटू द अनकॉन्शियस इट कैन री इमर्ज एज साइकोसोमैटिक इलनेसेस माइग्रेन हेडेक्स अर्थराइटिस हाइपरटेंशन 
are frequently cited examples of chronic suppressed anger. The symptoms are very often elevated as people learn how to let go of the inner anger. For example, in one study, the blood pressure measurements of the participants were taken before and after they received instruction on how to let go of negative emotion. All the people with hypertension slowed, showed drops in their blood pressure, both the systolic and the diastolic, the upper and the lower numerical readings. Once they started letting go of the emotional pressure that they had built up over the years. Now let's go for example, Stanford University may a forgiveness project. Sabse important thing is हम अपने आप को फॉरगिव नहीं कर पाते अपनी तरफ गुस्सा होता है मुझसे नहीं हो पाया मैं नहीं कर पाया मैं नहीं कर पाता मैं नहीं अपने आप के अंदर ही गुस्सा भरा पड़ा आक्रोश अपने लिए अपने लिए इमेजिन और फिर दोस्तों लोग हमें लव करें ना स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी में जो फॉरगिवनेस प्रोजेक्ट है इट कंफर्म्स द कार्डियक बेनिफिट्स ऑफ रिलिंक्विशिंग एंगर एंड रिजेंटमेंट इन द प्रोग्राम Parents of children killed in the Protestant Catholic violence in Ireland learned how to let go of bitterness towards the enemy. Measurements of the cardiac health and physical stamina showed significant improvement. Forgiveness healed their hearts, literally. As we have said before, with muscle testing, we can prove instantly that anger and resentment have a delirious effect on the body, emotions, energy flow, and the synchronization of the brain hemispheres anger kills the angry person and not so called enemy is ka ek classic example hai agar main jalta koila apne hath mein leke tumko burn karne ke liye tumhare mein fekungi wo tum burn ho nahi ho main zarur burn hungi tum duck kar jao gir jao wo koila kahi aur gir jaye but mera hath 100% burn karega gusse se hum apne aap ko zyada nuksan karke dusre ka kam karte hain the mind would just like us to think that there is such a thing as just justifiable anger apne dimag karta ki ha justification to hai na mujhe pata na mere sath wrong hua hai usse to mujhe aayega hi and this takes the form of moralistic indignation main morally correct hu bhai mujhe kuch sa aa raha hai ki aisa hua hai usne wrong kiya na now the minute we drop the moralistic indignation we see all that is propped up by vanity and pride jahan aapne usko giraya आपको इतना शुरू हो जाएगा कि अरे ये तो मेरी ईगो की वजह से हो रहा है तो मेरे एम की वजह से हो रहा है हमें लगता है मजा आता दिखने में दूसरा रॉन्ग है हम राइट है इससे हमें एक चीप थ्रिल मिलता है वी गेट अ पासिंग चीप थ्रिल सेटिस्फेक्शन आउट ऑफ दैट बाय आर मसल टेस्टिंग प्रूव द कॉस्ट टू आर ओवरऑल इमोशनल फिजिकल इकोनॉमी इज सो सिवियर द मिनिट वी आर होल्डिंग ऑन टू जस्टिफाइबल एंगर रिजेंटमेंट वॉट the price we pay for chronic anger and resentment is sickness and premature death is this worth the small satisfaction of being right kya maza aa raha hai har samay ki main right hu main right hu main right hu the cost that we are willing to pay in these kind of circumstances is something sometimes very surprising let's see we have a situation in which we made a loan to someone who has never paid us back we have a chronic resentment about it and when we meet the person socially we say as little as possible now if we get honest with ourselves we like we will likely see that we are getting satisfaction out of being right and the other person being wrong in fact we are enjoying it so much that part of us really doesn't want him to pay off the debt because we would no longer be able to enjoy the secret pleasure of making him wrong can you imagine कुछ हो रहा है वो भी हमारी वैसे हो रहा है पैसे हमने उधार में दिए वो नहीं दे पा रहा है हमें लग रहा है अरे मैंने उसको इतना हेल्प किया ना अरे देखो देखो मेरी वैसे तो हुआ है तो होता ही नहीं उस चक्कर में हमें इतना चीप थ्रिल्स मिल रहे हैं कि वो हमको वापस में पे ही नहीं कर पा रहा दिस इज प्रिसाइसली ट्रू इन द केस इन्वॉल्विंग सेवरल हंड्रेड डॉलर्स द इन डिसीजन वॉज मेड इन द पार्ट ऑफ द लैंडर टू बी ऑनेस्ट अबाउट ऑल दिट सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ बींग राइट इन मेकिंग द अदर पर्सन रॉन्ग एंड देन टू सरेंडर ऑन ईच वन ऑफ दिस ईगो पे ऑफ्स clearly the ego pay off so blocking the other person from reaping the loans meri vibration aapke bare mein kya hai us farak padta hai usse isliye hame bahut important hai apne aap ko watch karna with continual surrender the whole idea was totally let go and a shift was made to view the loan as a gift admittedly 
this other person had really needed the money, why not simply see it as a gift and let go of expectations of repayment? Instead of resentment, gratefulness predominated because there had been the opportunity to help another human being in a moment of real need. Within 48 hours, a check arrived in the mail for the entire amount of the note of apology for the delay in repayment. I'll give you a personal example. I'd given this huge loan to a young guy in Bhavnagar. He is a ship breaker and he wanted some money. And I had money and I said, I'm interested in Hathi, I'll get more, for the, more, more from him than from the bank. And this poor guy, very young guy, he passed away. And he told me very clearly, Didi, I will give you the um, payment back in April. And that time I needed the money to invest into a new business. Um, just when he went, I was at my father's place that night. I was staying over at his place. And he, said, he woke up in the morning and told me, Nikhil has passed away. And my first reaction was, oh my God, it's not young bachai, young children, young wife. And I said, Papa, Papa, I don't have money. I said, Papa, it doesn't matter. It's okay, it's a gift. I, I could be an elder sister. I never met this boy. It's fine. And I'm the only one who didn't ask his wife or his family for money back. But I'm the only one who's been paid the money back. Can you imagine? Itte loko usko paisa dena, de rehen dheer rehen vapis. Sirf mujhe pura ka pura payment aagya ek shot mein. Why? Because probably I thought it's a gift, it's okay, the family needs it. Hamari feeling kis ki taraf kya hoti hai, usse farak padta hai, hamara aara hai ki nahi. Aur ek mein soch ki bolo ki nahi, mein surrender kar deti hoon. To aega ki nahi aega, woh bhi achhi baat. At least mujhe realization to hai ki mein surrender kar deti hoon. It's okay. Jisko diya hai, woh hi nahi hai. It's very important for us to understand how we are sinking. We are not able to forgive ourselves. I said, I don't want to forgive myself. My father said, I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to you. Prashant said, I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to you. If I go to that, then the money that is not and I will be frustrated, I will be frustrated. It will be a chakra chakra. So very important to surrender. Very important to think that process of life is working for me. Very important to let go of your ego. Very important to let go of blame. Every single day I learn something or the other. And I'm like, this book, these books are so magical. They all come true in the life so beautifully. The experience and many like it demonstrate how we were all physically connected. Now, again, please uh, uh, cyclically correct it. I am thinking about you, about me, about me, about me, about me, this is telepathy too, we call it across continent, we call it phone. Cyclically, we are corrected. You know, psychic is our, which is connected because there's, ultimately there's oneness. We don't see it, we think that you are different, 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 you are different. The internal position we hold about another person is forcing them to adopt a complementary defensive position. It is therefore not Pollyanna to forgive and forget, but a reasonable recognition of emotional realities. You remember the book of the Pollyanna, the girl who just plays that uh, glad game and not the blame game. So it's okay to forget. It's okay to forgive. लेकिन उसके पीछे इमोशनल रियलिटी क्या है अब मैं बड़प्पन दिखा रही हूँ कि अरे आई एम फॉरगेटिंग अरे आई एम फॉरगिविंग पर सच्चाई क्या है उसको तो मैं फेस करूँ कि मुझे मेरी अहम ईगो सामने आ रहा है कि चीज क्या है मैंने हमेशा यू लोलाइज कि अहम ईगो ही बीच में आ रहा है the inner actions between human beings are determined by the configuration of the vibrational energies that their emotions are radiating into space अब आप अगर कंप्लेन करते हो यू नो मैं वहाँ गया था यू नो ऐसा हुआ ऐसा हुआ ऐसा हुआ लोग ऐसे करते हैं ना अब मेरी वाइब्रेशन तो बहुत हाई है मेरे को तो समझ में नहीं आता सॉरी अगर आप ये बात बोल रहे हो तो आपकी वाइब्रेशन बहुत लो है सो लेट्स टर्न द पेज द एनर्जी ऑफ द वाइब्रेशन एंड थॉट फॉर्म विद विच इट इज एसोसिएटेड क्रिएट अ रीडेबल रिकॉर्ड आप किस बारे में सोच रहे हो वो दूसरे को मालूम पड़ेगा ही पड़ेगा आप ऊपर दिखा रहे हो कि नहीं आई फॉरगिव यू आई लव यू अंदर से अच्छी ये फिर आ गया फिर दिमाग पकाएगा वॉट यू आर सींग इज नॉट वॉट ट्रू वॉट यू आर थिंकिंग इज वॉट ट्रू 
इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सी अगर मैं कंप्लेन कर रहा हूँ किसी के बारे में ओ वो चीज मेरे में मिसिंग है मुझे फीलिंग क्यों आ रही कंप्लेन करने के लिए उसके बारे में मुझ पे नहीं है इसलिए मुझे दिख रहा है वो चीज जब मेरे में आ जाएगा मैं कंप्लेन करना बंद कर दूंगा तो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब कंप्लेन करते हो जैसे थैंक यू मन में आया कंप्लेन करने के लिए मतलब मुझे एक नया चीज दिखा अपने बारे में सो लेट मी रीड दैट ऑल दो दिस कॉमन एवरीडे एक्सपीरियंस इज हार्डली न्यू टू मोस्ट वेमेन वो इन आर सोसाइटी कैटिकली मोर इंटिव it comes as a shock and surprise to a large percentage of men in our society men are characteristically left brain and given to reason and logic rather than intuition which is characterized as right brain function women ko kaise telepathy ho jati na good touch bad touch they know na ki the man who is touching them wo actual affection ka hai ki wo koi aur touch hai they are intuitive they are more left brain women are more right brain now let's understand one more thing as we continue to let go of negativity and bring about inner emotional healing there is a greater balance between left and right brain function jab hum roz roz let go karenge roz roz let go karenge roz hum emotionally apne aap ko heal karenge hamara left right brain bhi acha ho jayega logic mein bhi believe karenge magic mein bhi believe karenge ek taraf ka nahi sochenge the intuitive faculty is also available in men they are often pleasantly surprised as they begin to recognize its emergence it is satisfying and surprising to be able to instantly read a situation that was totally baffling to reason and logic the ideal situation in which to form a working hypothesis with intuition and then to use reason and logic to check it out this of course offsets the anger that arises from misunderstanding and miscalculation and increases the skillful mastery of emotions very important to apne upar mastery hum khud la sakte hain agar hum pehle baat to shuruaat kare forgive and forget se jo maine kiya wrong tha right tha mujhe nahi pata but i forgive myself kyunki maine kuch kiya apni intelligence se usme kiya chahe good chahe bad i forgive myself and i will start giving love to everyone isliye wo unified mein bolte hain roz raat ko sone se pehle give love give love give love jitna doge utna milega and just become a channel of love kisko love de rahe ho doesn't matter is insaan ko bhejna hai bhej do is situation ko bhejna hai bhej do just start giving love another thing that this dissipates anger is a mere willingness to relinquish it hum ready hai ki nahi anger ko chhodne ke liye willingness is the most important virtue i would say willingness is a overall decision to find a better way to stop relying on anger and to move up to courage and acceptance this willingness already starts the process of relinquishing anger as students of the martial arts are well aware anger indicates weakness and vulnerability it is seen as a tool that are handling to our opponent we can see from muscle testing why this is so the angry person has already lost half his muscle power and has therefore lost the split second timing that is so decisive to victory in hand to hand combat which may thodi energy hai us energy ko gusse mein nikal diya to mere bachche hai kya it is so prevalent in our society to include the propensity to anger as a male macho attribute we hear people spelling with pride if they relate how they told that guy off you know cheap thrills milte hain bolne mein ki main to ye kya rahe i flex myself so this i got to get just cheap pride we can ask ourselves who needs enemies isn't there enough negative influence in our life without adding one more especially when you look at the fact that all emotions generate a vibrational energy in the universe what is the point of surrounding ourselves with negative thought forms about those we view as enemies pata hai universe energy se bani hai sab universal energy hai main energy kya de rahi hu wohi mujhe milegi to agar main us insaan ki negativity soch rahi hu negativity aur us insaan mein negativity hai bhi aur main uska positive try kar rahi hu sochne ka to main usi ko positive ko hi attract karungi there was this lady puri family bolti thi ki badi kanjoos hai kuch deti jhidakti nahi hai kyunki sab jaate the unke paas family mein कि अब ये कुछ देखी नहीं बोल के ना कंडीशनिंग बनाया देखी नहीं है बड़ी कंजूस है बड़ी कंजूस है माई मामी लॉ वो 
कभी सोने की चेन मिल रही है कभी कुछ बूंदे मिल रहे हैं कभी इयर मिल रहे हैं कभी कुछ मिल रहा है लेकिन सुधा तुम्हें किसे मिल जाता है उस ममा ने वो वॉन्टेड एनी थिंग शी जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू सी लव इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरी कि नहीं मेरा तो अच्छा लगता है रिबू विध नॉट ऑफ लव दैट्स वॉट यू अट्रैक्टेड सो इफ यू ड्रॉप योर क्लोथ्स योर फसाट कि ये इंसान ऐसा है लेबल्स को ड्रॉप कर दोगे ना तो हल्का फील करोगे जैसे मैंने कई बार बोला अगर हमने बहुत हैवी सी जैकेट पहन रखी है कंधे से उतार दोगे हार्ड शोल्डर्स फील ना लाइट लेट्स बिकम लाइट लेट्स नॉट एनी मोर पाइल ऑन टू द नेगेटिविटी एनी मोर बहुत स्टॉक पाइल्स भरा रखे भर रखे हमने What is the point of surrounding ourselves with negative thoughts when we know that the negative thoughts are going to come back to us in a big way? Why do we want these enemies? Why go out of our way to hold on to them as enemies by stockpiling resentments and negativity in ourselves? Likely, when we review our own personal experiences, we will see that the effort involved in converting people we once considered enemies into friends brought gratification and a later reward. in most cases they prove to be a positive benefit to our life we never know with whom in a later chapter in the book of life we're going to need as a friend pata hai nahi na aaj ek acha ka karm kiya hai kal wo insaan kaise multiply backfire karega later um, sorry no, not backfire kaise aapko help karne aayega pata hai nahi na acche karm karo zyada expect mat karo and let the life flow gita ji keeps talking about that we need to be aware aware that we have unwittingly become injustice collectors bahut important baat hai please understand the media reports are full of this form of chronic resentment we see injustice collecting in international relations where making the other nation wrong is actually a primary objective we are unconsciously programmed to believe that injustice collecting is normal in contrast to this habitual pattern which is destructive and weakening the letting go technique frees us from keeping close account of the doings wrong doings made by us against us by us in a way our time and attention are freed up to see the beauty and opportunity around us now kai baar main example deti hu do bhaiyon ka jo business karte hain bhai sahab hamesha wrong decision le lete hain अरे मैं क्या करूं मैं तो परेशान हो गया भाई साहब रॉन्ग डिसीजन लेते हैं भाई साहब को अक्कल ही नहीं है ये ही नहीं समझ में आता उनको अब मेरी हैबिचुअल थिंकिंग हो गई है और मैंने इनजॉस कलेक्ट करना शुरू कर दिया है कि भाई साहब ऐसे ही करते रहेंगे और मैं प्रोसेस क्या हो रहा है मेरा बिजनेस डिस्ट्रक्ट हो रहा है मैं वीकन हो रहा हूँ पर जब मेरे बोलो अरे भाई साहब ने ऑपरेट करा है उनकी इंटेलिजेंस से क्या फर्क पड़ता है अच्छा ही करे जो कर रहे होंगे अच्छा ही करे इट्स ओके अच्छा ही होगा हमारे साथ अच्छा ही होगा अभी प्रॉब्लम आ रही कोई बात नहीं अच्छा ही होगा अच्छा होना शुरू हो चुका है एंड एकदम से यू स्टार्ट सींग द ब्यूटी ऑफ भाई साहब एंड यू आर गोइंग टू बी फ्री एंड आपको इतना अच्छा लगेगा यू विल फॉल इन लव विद योर भाई साहब अगेन जिसको आपने इतने सालों से डेवल बना रखा था आपको मजा आ रहा था अनोइंगली उसको डेवल बनाने में कंट्रीज में यही होता है चाइना इज रॉन्ग चाइना इज रॉन्ग अमेरिका इज दिस अमेरिका इज दिस यू ब्लेमिंग ही चाह दो can you do without each other can we work without china for even a day no we can't itne aatmanirbhar nahi bane abhi hum ban jayenge but abhi nahi bane so why blame them all the time i'm not saying they're great but who's who's great are we great let's start looking at everything we are all great anger is binding not freeing it connects us to another person holds them in a life pattern we are stuck in a negative pattern until we let go of the energy of anger and the little payoffs of righteous indignation feeling wronged and the desire for revenge it may not be exactly the same person who constantly recurs in our life now if not that person then others will appear who have the same quality the triggers our anger and resentment ek gaya use waisa hi aa gaya aapne relationship mein dekha hoga log ki shaadiyan hoti hai divorce hota hai ek aur aayega wo to usse bhi badh gaye उससे भी बढ़ के क्योंकि आपको पहले वाले के लिए इतना एंगर है दूसरा उससे भी बेटर बन बन के आएगा आपके घर में सर्वेंट्स को देखोगे आप हटाते हो एक हटाते हो दूसरा उससे भी बढ़ के आता है एक के बाद एक वर्स्ट क्वालिटी क्योंकि आपने पहले वाले को लेट को नहीं किया ना अच्छी अच्छी फीलिंग के साथ अब आप यहाँ पर भी कंप्लेन कर रहे हो ये वापस बार बार रिक रिक करेगा आपकी लाइफ में जब आप अपने गुस्से को ड्रॉप नहीं करोगे सडनली people with that quality disappear from your life the minute you force anger out of your body 
Therefore, anger may force someone to be physically distant from us, but physically, psychically, it binds them to be more closely than we fully relinquish, the, until we fully relinquish the anger and resentment. Jab aapne gusse ko chhod diya, life starts becoming so much more beautiful. Relinquishing anger brings us many benefits. Pehli baat to, we become free to experience emotional comfort and ease. Jab gusse drop karenge, hum comfortable ho jayenge emotions pe. Gratitude for the daily opportunities to grow and heal. अगर हम ग्रेटिट्यूड करेंगे रोज तो हम रोज ही करेंगे रोज ग्रो करेंगे म्यूचुअली केयर करेंगे विद इन अदर विदाउट सटल स्ट्रिंग्स अटैच मैं इसके लिए इसके लिए केयर करने कर रहा मैं बस कर रहा हूँ केयर करनी है इम्प्रूवमेंट इन हेल्थ मोर लाइफ एनर्जी एंड दीज ब्रेक थ्रूज अलाउ अस टू मूव टू अ वेरी इफेक्टिव एंड एफर्टलेस स्टेट ऑफ इनर फ्रीडम अल्टीमेटली दैट्स वॉट वी ऑल वॉन्ट सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हमने पढ़ा कल और आज में एंगर के बारे में acknowledgement ke bare mein we spoke about courage we spoke about validation we spoke about how people are the way they are we talked about chronic resentment also ki kyun resentment hum itna pakad ke bad bad jaate hain and if we start hearing and seeing these sciences i'm telling you all of us will have magical breakthroughs lots of beautiful life is coming ahead of all of us so let's embrace it thank you rahul sir for showcasing this beautiful book tomorrow we'll going to talk about pride प्राइड की वजह से जो स्मॉलर सेल्फ होता है उसमें क्या फर्क पड़ता है इन इन आवर ग्रुप नाउ लेट्स रीड द शॉर्ट चैप्टर ऑन द आर्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग बाय रॉड जॉटकिंस एंड सी वे वी आर कमिंग अहेड इन आवर वर्ल्ड सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अस फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हम ए टू बी जाएंगे वाया जी कभी सुना है कहते हैं ना जेड पे जाना पड़ता है बी की तरफ से बट यहाँ क्या बोला जा रहा है कि ए से बी पी जाओ वाया जी सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट्स हैपनिंग लॉबस्टर्स हाइड इन नुक्स एंड क्रानीज इन द ब्रुक्स ऑन द सी बेड समटाइम्स दे बिकम वेज्ड एंड कांट मूव दे डोंट डाई बिकॉज़ दे ड्रॉ फूड फ्रॉम देयर माउथ्स बाय क्रिएटिंग टर्बुलेंस इन द वाटर विद देयर क्लॉज दे लिटरली ग्रो इनटू द रॉक इट्स वर्थ आस्किंग एवरी नाउ एंड देन इफ दैट्स हैपेंस टू यू आई सेट माय स्टूडेंट्स इन सेंट्रल मार्टिन्स the university of the arts london the task of finding a map of the area drawing a circle around a glass on the map and then following it they took it out into the streets and followed the line without deviation they it took out parts of the city that they didn't that they hadn't seen they knocked on doors and persuaded the occupants to let them walk through their houses and offices sometimes it made i made it harder by asking students to take a sofa along with them it changed their perspective of the city they met people with whom they never normally meet saw inside buildings that are normally close to them other things they have done including staging football matches with three sides playing at the same time and using a map paris to guide them around new york sab ulta pulta lekin we all develop habits we walk the same route to the subway we pick up the same paper we turn on the same computer like robots we find ourselves behaving automatically we stop being aware of what we are doing but to think creatively you have to be constantly aware awareness means that whatever you are doing in the moment you are doing it with complete consciousness lack of awareness means that you are not alive to possibilities you are missing opportunities ab kai log subah uthte are subah utna padega oh god eh दिन शुरू हो गया कई लोग उठते हैं अरे वाह आज जल्दी उठना पड़ रहा है फॉर दिस रीजन वाह थैंक यू सो मच हम ऑटो पायलट मोड पे चले जाते हैं जब हम एक चीज को प्रैक्टिस करते हैं कहते हैं ह्यूमन बींग्स को 21 दिन लगते हैं टू प्रैक्टिस समथिंग एंड तीन बार कर लो तो इट बिकम्स अ हैबिट फॉर लाइफ लॉन्ग सो इट टेक्स टाइम फॉर कंडीशनिंग अवेयरनेस लाना हमारा काम है कंप्लीट कॉन्शियस में रहना हमारा काम है हर समय अवेयर रहना हमारा काम है और कभी नहीं रहे तो ओके okay, कल बाद में रह लेंगे Guy Debord pioneered a new way of perceiving the world called psychogeography. Its purpose was to jolt people into a new awareness of their surrounding, to wake them up. Psychogeographic uh, geographers <coughs> devise situations that disrupted the ordinary and normal life to shake people out of their customary ways of thinking and acting. The psychogeographer finds different ways to travel and demand that you reconnect with the journey to pretend you don't know your city, your roads, or the buildings. we are prompted to look deeper with fresh eyes and act with heightened awareness 
अभी आपको कोई बोलेगा आंखें बंद करके अपने बेड से अपने बाथरूम चले जाओ आप चले जाओगे राइट बिकॉज आपको सालों से कंडीशनिंग आपको पता है पर अगर आपको पता है ब्रांड न्यू बेडरूम में हो किसी होटल में कैसे करोगे वहां आप अवेयर रहोगे हमें अवेयर रहना है हर समय ऑटो पायलट कंफर्ट जोन में नहीं जाना है वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ साइकोजोग्राफी वॉज अनटेंडेड इन द आर्ट ऑफ लुकिंग साइड वेज एल एन फ्लैचर टेल्स ऑफ एन अमेरिकन एक्सप्लोर हु डाइड इन द नॉर्थ पोल इज रिलेटिव स्पीड इन इंसल्ट इन लॉर्ड ऑफ मनी to fly back with the body the inuit had never before left the arctic so after he delivered the body he decided to spend the money traveling around the states he didn't speak english though so at railway stations to buy a ticket he simply repeated sound by sound whatever the traveler standing in front of him said when they bought the ticket the inuit randomly crisscrossed the states eventually ran out of money in a small town of ohio he lived there for the rest of his life now let's understand this particular fact very beautifully this new paragraph is very beautiful if you always take the same path you will know where you are but you will lose yourself if you always do the same things in the same place you will get the same results in any workplace it is easy to fall into a trap of doing the same old things in the same old way and ending up with the same old results change is good even if it is just changing your desk around or moving the photocopier now growth is painful and change is painful but nothing is more painful than staying in the wrong place the more often you do something the other way the more difficult it is to consider doing it differently there are times when we all have to go from a to b but go via jupiter so this paragraph is so important change anivarya hai important hai change karna zaruri hai comfort zone mein agar aap aa gaye ho to time for a shift if you become comfortable you have to shift arthur calls it says creativity is a defeat of habit by originality so jo habits ban jati hain unme bhi create karna hai kuch naya so that you are more original thank you rahul sir we will do a short meditation so all of us can now close our eyes jo humne aaj padha hai usko meditate karenge har thought ko bhi karenge so let's take a deep breath in and out it's okay akshi okay fine you're recording so after being centered balanced aligned take yet another deep breath in and exhale inhale and exhale once more on the last time for this morning take a deep breath in very deep feel your diaphragm your stomachs hold it on and very gently keep releasing exhaling till the time your tummy goes completely inwards towards your intestines keep exhaling life is a beautiful journey life is magical life is a solution there is solution to every problem all of us human beings are habitual beings we create habits and problems to fulfill a need within us we create habits and problems to fulfill a need within us and yet we start blaming but when we can find a positive way to fulfill the need we can release the problem dear universe always give us bless us with the virtue of counting our blessings always make us see the world of light 
always empower us to see the silver lining in the dark cloud, to only remember the silver lining and not the dark cloud. Because we know that there is a solution for every problem. For every problem I create, I know that there's a solution. I'm not limited to my human mind thinking for it. I am connected with the entire universal wisdom and knowledge. I know that whatever problem is there, the divine is guiding me. I come from the loving space of my heart and know that all the doors are open for me because I am ready to embrace life in totality. There's an ever ready power that helps me meet and overcome every challenge, every crisis in my life. I know that every problem has been healed somewhere in the world and my problem is being healed now in my world. Therefore, I know that this can happen to me and to everyone who's going through a, a problem. I'm now giving myself to wrap myself in a cocoon of love and I know I'm safe. Feel a warm blanket covering you, making you very cozy. And this blanket is a cocoon of love. I wrap myself in this blanket of love. I wrap myself in this blanket of light because I know that all is well in my world. And so it is. Let's bow our heads in gratitude towards Mother Earth. Let's bow our head in gratitude towards whatever she creates. Let's fold our hands in gratitude towards Mother Earth for her, for her ascension. Let's continue to fold our hands and thank our wonderful life for what we've lived and what we are living and what we will live. Now keep your hands folded and look at the universe above and Thank, with your folded hands, all the divinities, all the angels, all the guardians, all the teachers. We're learning so much every day. We're evolving so much every day. And you're all guiding us. You're all mentoring us. And you also are protecting us. We're so, so, so blessed. Thank you, everyone. And let's open our hands and bless the universe and thank the universe, knowing that it has our back. Each one of us is evolving and getting whatever we want. The law of attraction is working positively. We attract what we are. We get what we want. And we're learning the art of letting go so beautifully. Let's fold the hands, bring them in the heart level and be grateful, mindful, heartful and hopeful. And our body will continue to support us in our journey of evolution. Thank every part of your body. You can scan it from top to toe. And feel the energy flowing in your body in all directions. Activate it with static. Rub your hands together to feel the energy flow. You're attracting the energy to flow in your body in all directions as you're rubbing your hands and you're feeling it. And now simply bless your body. From your face, the back of your head, the back of your body, up to down, and down to up in the front part. Now keep your hands on your heart. My heart is full of love. My heart is full of light. I know there's a solution for every problem and I know I'm divinely guided. And so it is. With this beautiful feeling and this blessing and this knowledge, I wish and bless the same for every Sangha Mitra, every sentient being, and I bless them all. 
all of your problems have a solution. May all of you be divinely guided. And may you all know that our feelings of autopilot mode have to be challenged at times. And let's be the warriors, let's be the winners, let's be the conquerors of all things wonderful. Let there be light. Ruchi, Akshay, Manish, Vijayji, Pratimaji, Itindraji, Ushaji, Richa, Shivani, Manisha, Hitu, Dr. Gamakshi, Rahul sir, Amrita, and everyone, all everyone who's going through it. Lots of love and light and blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shivani, thank you for your message. You say you're the one who has got so much transformation in our thoughts. I'm thankful for every breath. I take every positive thought. How wonderful. May I be the channel of blessing for someone today is powerful. Yes, this line is very powerful. May we always be the channel of blessing for someone today and every day of our life. And the more we bless, the more blessed we, we get. But let's know this and let's be grateful. So thank you, everyone. Let's see each other tomorrow at five. Until then, stay tuned in in your mind, in your body and see whatever is coming on in your life. Yes, actually, you can call it solution for every problem. Thank you, everyone. Lots of love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.